All right, guys, let's take a look at Visitor Watch. Now, throughout their lineup, you're going to see that they're familiar. You're going to recognize that it's a visitor, and that's, I think, key to their success. So this one here is uh, the Calligraph Linden. So, and of course, you recognize the handset here. This is like a pen nib. I think they call it a pen nib um, handset. And then there's other design characteristics that also carry from line to line. But in the Linden series here, I think it is very tastefully done and clean. It's not too bold. Some of their designs are kind of daring, kind of bold. Still really cool and fun to wear and definitely conversation pieces. Uh, all while maintaining a very good quality and usability. This one kind of simmers it down a little bit and makes it so it's more of a normal watch, but still holds those uh, the DNA of the visitor lineup, if that makes sense. So case size, you're looking at a 39 millimeter case, 48 lug to lug. You can see the finishing on this too. I'll, I'll do some close-ups, but drilled lug holes. It's only 10.3 millimeter thick to the top of that sapphire AR coated crystal up top actually has a sapphire display back as well and a 20 millimeter lug width you can see on this is the factory strap you have a few different choices for straps when you and there's different colorways too um, the white is obviously just perfect um, they call this one the snowfall and it is a really good looking white so we'll do some close-ups here in a minute but you can see it has uh, curved spring bars there so it fits really nice, clears the case very good, and a tapering leather strap. Matching visitor style buckle hardware here to uh, tie in with the case and everything. So let's get right into some details because if you're looking at the brushing and the finishing, there's multiple transitions and I think that is what makes these so appealing to me and to many other people. So you can see that the bezel the way it's installed onto the case is actually submerged into the side profile of the watch, which is just insane. That is super cool. I love seeing that. Screw down case back or screw in case back. Um, also polished and brushed with some writing there. Nicely done vis visitor custom rotor. This is the Miota 9015 movement. You can see it's slightly decorated, has some stripes and stuff on it, but a uh, really good choice. Keeps the cost down, also keeps it at 4 hertz and gives you the date. They do their date a little bit different than other ones. You can see the visitor kind of ghosted in there, just above the date cutout and just above that minute hand. But if you look, now it's a push-pull crown, so it's a 50 meter water resist, so uh, low water resistance, but that's okay. It's kind of a dressier piece. So. Um, the date cutout, you know, I know a lot of people would maybe be fine with no date, but Visitor does their date a little bit different. They use custom blacked um, date wheels with the loom white printed, all their loom is BGW9 as far as I know, um, but they loom out the numbers on the date wheel as well. And then you can see it's kind of a sandwich dial, so you see you have a perforated um, rim going on the outside there. That is a disc underneath there that is fully loomed. So when we do the loom shot, you're going to see all the indices, the tips of the hands, the date wheel, the visitor logo that's printed on the dial, and that sandwich cutout. All of that is going to be loomed. So it's very fun to look at in low light applications as well. So before we do the loom shot, let's do a wrist shot. Um, and I know a lot of people probably complain about the visitor lineup because they sell out. So like a lot of micro brands that actually have hits on their hands, you know, they put them out there and then they sell out. You know, they're, they're, they, the watches just sell. This one at 39 by 48 is just a sweet spot on wrist. This is easily a really nice dress, casual dress, everyday type thing, office wear, whatever you want to do. Um, and it's just killer. And if you're into the hobby of, um, you know, writing with, uh, you know, calligraphy type pens and stuff like that, then come on. I mean, it kind of, <laughs> it's pretty sweet to have that on your watch too. So, so like I said, BGW9 loom, we'll get that here going in a minute. 
Um, the price point on this is 580 and he actually has these in stock. So if you're looking for the Linden, if you want to get into a very good, clean, totally wearable visitor watch, go pick out different colors. There's this white one, there's a black one, there's a few other colors, maybe green, blue, and red maybe? I can't remember. I'll put a link in the description. So let's check out that loom shot real quick. Hopefully it shows up pretty good. I, I suspect it will. So you can see it. Yeah, hopefully you guys are seeing that. My uh, my eyes are having a hard time adjusting. Hopefully you can see the, the visitor and the uh, date window lit up. Now, it's going to be a little difficult to see those, you know, because they are smaller. Um, but once your eyes adjust to it, you can definitely see it. And you can easily differentiate the hour and the minute hand there for sure. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to um, the anonymous viewer that sent this in to share with us. And I will catch you guys on the next vid.